हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट असिंक बिजनेस रूल एज अप नाउ आई हैव कवर्ड बिफोर एंड आफ्टर बिजनेस रूल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड सी द प्रीवियस वीडियो फ्रॉम दिस सीरीज राइट सो फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वाट इज असिंक बिजनेस रूल सो दिस इज द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इंटरव्यूअर मे आस्क टू यू दैट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आफ्टर एन असिंक बिजनेस रूल एंड वेन वी विल राइट आफ्टर एंड वेन वी विल राइट असिंक बिजनेस रूल सो द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिज टू बिजनेस रूल दैट आफ्टर बिजनेस रूल इफ यू आर राइटिंग देन योर पीस ऑफ कोड और योर लॉजिक विल गेट एग्जीक्यूटेड जस्ट आफ्टर इंसर्टिंग और अपडेटिंग और डिलीटिंग अ रिकॉर्ड एज सिंपल राइट आफ्टर दैट मीन्स इफ यू हैव हिट द बटन to update the record then control will not release system will not release the control until and unless it will perform your logic fine this will happen in the after after business rule now let's say you have written some big logic which is getting uh, some time let's say one minute of time it will get um take to execute the logic and perform the operation on that case if you are writing after business rule then what it will happen uh user has to wait for one minute after clicking the button right user doesn't have that much patience right if you will make them wait for one minute then definitely they'll they will say hey i don't this is the very very bad response which i am getting they will not think that means in the background something is happening they will think hey something uh, system is not responding right on that overcome from such scenario we have a different type of business rule that is async business rule so we will tell to user hey you just click on the button just do your job and the uh, system does uh, their job and control will release okay and in background whatever the logic we have written it will keep on executing so that user has to not wait until and unless your logic is not getting completed let's say you have written a big logic to uh, execute uh, a schedule job and that schedule job will check uh, um, maybe um, to all the incident uh, related to all the incident it will check which is uh, kind of a little bit uh, time consuming right because on incident table we have a uh, n number of incident right to do the query it will take some time correct on that case definitely i would recommend you to just go with the async business rule async business will also run after insert update or delete okay but only difference is it will release the control means control will come back on the form you will not see the um, that uh, you have submitted the button you have click on the button and you are just waiting form is loading 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 it will not happen if you are writing a async business rule right so one example i have taken so let's say you are on the lm asset table lm asset table means basically asset table uh, so if you are purchasing any asset or company will purchase any asset then they has to maintain the uh their asset in the lm asset table right so for that uh this comes under the hardware reset management basically over there you can just maintain all the financial activity whenever you are talking about the asset that means you have to maintain there the financial uh, steps also right and if you are purchasing a lap laptop then definitely you have uh, spent some money right so how you will maintain in service now so for that service now is not asking user to create a uh, expense line the moment you will enter the details with the expense on uh, your asset table what it will does is this business will will help to create a expense line so that later point of time any point of time if you are coming and seeing okay okay so the, what is the price of this uh, asset then you can go and check the uh, related expense line for this is it right hope you got it so expense line is just a related record for this lm asset 
so in this condition uh, how we are writing we are uh, selecting a async business rule and insert or update whenever insert or update is happening on that case we are writing our logic logic is simple uh, we will just uh, this is the expense line table okay so on this table we are just doing a glide record we are just mapping a asset with the current record and then sort description we are just ma um, mapping that automatically generated the expense line for creation of your assets fine and then just we are doing a glide record here and then based on the logic here we it is up updating basically see here from the current dot cost dot uh, currency we are getting a currency over here currency code and currency value over here we are getting right so these are the uh, details which we are updating basically so this uh details are present on the expense line table so don't worry about the expense line uh, i have just given the example uh anything which is taking a little bit longer time to execution for the execution you should go for the async business rule instead of after business rule never write after business rule if your logic is taking a uh, little bit more time and user has to wait for the response on that condition you have to go for the async business rule fine thank you thanks for watching if you have not liked and subscribed, please do so.